Hey, welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back again for yet another Marvel Legends news update. It's been a while since I've really discussed Marvel Legends. I've kind of taken a, a bit of a hiatus myself as a collector. I have been picking and choosing, that's for sure. When it comes to animated series, X-Men 97, things of that nature, yes, no brainer with me. That's what I want to see. And so far with the recent waves, there has been a lot of good, a lot of, yeah, I guess I could wait on that one. You know what I'm saying? Because prices ain't what they used to be but they're not going any lower, so I'm just going to tell you that right now. But today, we had a brand new Marvel Legends live stream. They showed off a ton of upcoming figures. Marvel has been kind of a, a thing recently, right? Madam Web, I'm sure you all flocked to the theaters to see that masterpiece. I got the gist of, of what the movie entails. Pepsi product placement, as it may be. <laughs> Not a movie for me, but if it was an old blind lady in a mechanical chair, I would have been there day one, just saying, right? That would have been kind of cool. They have shown off Fantastic Four teasers. Hopefully that's good. I know a lot of people are saying they're going to save Marvel. Deadpool 3, it's going to save Marvel. It doesn't really retract on all the, the bad movies that have come out, right? Ever since Endgame. It's been like, yeah, I'm good. Thanks. And that's just in the MCU, right? Comic books, hey, you know, it's it's become a thing. Seems like in comic books these days, everyone just swapped costumes. Like, oh, that character's wearing that costume. Oh, now I'm this character, but I'm this. It's, it's just whatever. I'll just live in the areas of Marvel and fandom that I enjoy. And today, I'm happy to say, with Marvel Legends, yeah, they're on the right track again as far as me being, hey, I'm excited for these. Before we get started, as always, when applicable, I will have pre-order links down in the description below. Most of these, depending on when you see this video, will be a later pre-order, but you'll see at the end there's a new wave to talk about. Those will be going up this week. So again, depending on when you see the video, just check the pre-order links down below, right? <laughs> now, as was previously shown off about a week and a half, two weeks ago now, there will be a Hasbro Pulse exclusive for the Spider-Man the Animated Series VHS box sets. And before we get started, shout out to Harry Moore Design for the awesome artwork. Across all the animated packaging, he's knocking it out of the park. Very cool. Hydro Man and Daredevil. What an episode that was, right? <laughs> That's one of those, when I see it, right? Me being uh, the Spider-Man animated fan, I go, oh, well, they never met. That's weird. Let's dissect this just a little bit. Daredevil, right? He's going to be all red. He's going to have that black cell shaded look. I really don't mind the look of the cell shading for the most part. Some of it works a lot better than others, you know by now, right? But I like to see animated series properties. It could be a bit better, let's be honest. And I would love to see more in the vein of actually sculpted out from the animated series instead of that hyper-realistic kind of thing that they do with the Clone Wars and the Black Series, the Star Wars and such. But this Daredevil does look fine. It's fine for what it is. I have a different Daredevil that came with the Defenders multi-pack a couple years back on Amazon. That's what I've been using in place of a animated Daredevil. Now we got the Daredevil with the black on all of them. If you look at Spider-Man, the animated series, and this is where my little nerd thing is going to kick in, right? Because I got the nerd eye, right? Daredevil in Spider-Man, the animated series in Partners in Danger, right? That whole storyline when Peter Parker gets arrested. This is what Daredevil looks like. And you will say, well, that's what the action figure looks like, right? The key giveaway is the gloves, right? In Spider-Man the Animated Series, he's all red and black. There's really no designation except for maybe a couple shots here and there. This is, in fact, the Daredevil from the Fantastic Four the Animated Series cartoon. It's the same Matt Murdock, same Daredevil, same universe as far as we're concerned. There's some inconsistencies, but it's supposed to be the same Delio. If you look at the gloves, the red gloves 
are all solid color, then you have the black amidst the red on the rest of the costume. Gloves, boots, same dealio. That's where this daredevil comes from. Did they look at the wrong source material photos? Maybe. Did they want to cut corners and not put black on the gloves? Maybe. Methinks it's going to be the first one because, yes, uh, that is definitely the Fantastic Four animated daredevil. But again, he comes with the billy clubs. He comes with the whole grapnel. He got the idea. He got the hands, the extra head portrait. Fine. I'm totally stoked on this daredevil. The Hydro Man. Now, that's interesting. And I actually really think that this is cool. One, because of the head portrait. That's definitely Maury Bench. And two, yeah, that's Hydro Man from Spider-Man the Animated Series when he goes after Mary Jane. Spider-Man, you can sit this one out. Mary Jane will cold-bloodedly take Maury Bench out. Go back and watch that episode. She did not even hesitate. She was ready to just straight up murder that guy. But yes, it is him in his full-on water form. And again, to go back to Daredevil, right? Because me saying the Fantastic Four design. Well, Hydro Man did appear in the Fantastic Four when he was part of the Frightful Four, right? So that's kind of an interesting little like, yeah, isn't it like an Easter? It it works out on so many levels. Yes, I wish Daredevil would have been more Spider-Man the Animated Series. Let's be honest. But I kind of like that thinking right there, right? Hydro Man, Daredevil, that's kind of how they go together in the sense of the Fantastic Four animated. I like that it is Hydro Man in his water form. You've got the whole parts and pieces. Yeah, I would have loved giant geysers of water. That would have been kind of cool. But I'll take it. I like the way that they did this, and I am looking forward to this pack. So much so that I've already pre-ordered it. It was expensive. But hey, like I said... Few and far between with Marvel Legends these days. Now, as of this morning, I'm happy to say, we are getting another Spider-Man the VHS animated series set. And they have said and teased there will be more coming along with retro carded figures, which we'll show you that in just a second. Doctor Strange and Morbius. Another fantastic episode, right? The haunting of Michael Morbius. (laughs) Never met in the animated series. But this Doctor Strange... Well, that's a mighty fine-looking Doctor Strange right there. And it is one that we have had in the sense of an action figure, but not in these colors. And I gotta give it to them. They actually did a pretty good job this time around with the color scheme, and I totally appreciate it. The accessories, on the other hand, that's another thing. You have a Wanda Watoom. Why didn't you put that in there? That would have been straight from the animated series. Come on. Good thing I got the other Walmart to Doctor Strange. But yes, the cape, the hair, everything is Spider-Man the Animated Series. Nicely done. I am happy with that. Along with Morbius. This, this one has been a very long time coming for all us Spider-Man animated fans. Let me tell you that. Toy Biz kind of sort of corrected it, but not really, right? At least they got the blue hair. But yes, we finally have a Michael Morbius from Spider-Man, the animated series. Blue hair, the blue shirt, the blue pants, trench coat, purple underneath. Thanks for doing that. Awesome. And... Because of Moreland, we have the suckers on the hand. So you can drain plenty of plasma as you see fit. These will be Hasbro Pulse exclusive. They always say Hasbro Pulse exclusive, and then you give it like a year, and then it'll show up uh, elsewhere, right? But for the time being, this will be Hasbro Pulse exclusive, and the pre-order will be at a later date. Maybe a couple weeks, I think is what, as they said in the live stream. So again, Doctor Strange, Morbius, Spider-Man animated VHS 2-pack, Hasbro Pulse exclusive, look for the pre-order a coming soon. Likewise, and, and this is one where I was like, okay, that's nice, very cool. Hobie Brown, the Prowler, right? Spider-Man, the animated series. I have the Prowler. I used the previously released, was it Lizard build figure Prowler as my Spider-Man stand-in? This one looks pretty great as well, and I really appreciate the unmasked Hobie Brown head portrait this time around, right? He does have extra hands, and he's got the claws. He doesn't have that little button on his claws that makes the claws shoot out, though. That would have been a nice touch. (laughs) Old Toy Biz days and whatnot. But... As a costume given to him by the Kingpin, that would have been great. I would have liked to have seen the belt buckle, right? That's a big thing for the animated series, right? Trying to get it off and all that jazz. 
I like some of the promo photos. It's something that I would definitely do when talking about Spider-Man the Animated Series with Peter Parker and Hobie Brown breaking into Mary Jane and Peter Parker's apartment. <laughs> he is the Prowler, right? Of course, like the purples, the greens. I think they nailed the mask. It's a very old school toy biz looking mask along with the animated series. Here's hoping we eventually get Iceberg, right? Now that... That would be a cool Marvel Legends to get. I'm just saying. Iceberg, throwing that out there. Would make for a nice Walmart exclusive. Just saying. Much like this Prowler will be. So the Prowler on the retro-carded Spider-Man, the animated series Toy Biz throwback, will be a Walmart exclusive. And it will be for the upcoming Walmart Collector Con. So just stay tuned for more information on that. Get ready. <laughs> We all know how that goes. But yes, pre-order coming soon for Hobie Brown, The Prowler. Now, for those of you out there that may not be in the know, yes, Toy Biz did the Spider-Man animated. They had Carnage. He was in the first wave, right? Everybody knows of that. He had the weapon arms. Then they did a Maximum Carnage toy line tie-in with the Maximum Carnage artwork to promote the comic book back in the day, right? They had singles. They had two packs, they had three packs, they had larger figures, right? So these were more at comic book shops, and to be honest with you, I never even saw these until a trip to San Diego Comic-Con where I was in one of the booths, and, you know, the ones where everybody's selling stuff, and I was like, whoa, what is this? But in looking at it, I knew, I go, well, I already have Carnage, I already have Venom, I have that Spider-Man. There really wasn't much of a difference, maybe a little bit of a different kind of paint job for Carnage, but not really. And as you can see on the back, you have Maximum Carnage. They utilized some of the Spider-Man animated artwork in some sense. And then they showed off the Spider-Man animated toy line as well. So it was kind of a melding of these two just in utilizing figures they've already created to promote the comic books. And that's what a lot of the Toy Biz Spider-Man animated was. It was cartoon, but then it was also very much comic book. And so for this new retro-carded Carnage, that is kind of a nice homage if you think about it. You've got the artwork by Harry Moore Design. Please check him out on Instagram. You have some new Carnage attachments like the axe, which is where my eye goes for that one. That's one that I definitely got to have because of Spider-Man the Animated Series and that's what Carnage threw up when he was going to cut Spider-Man up into matchbox-sized pieces. This is that Carnage body that I'm really not all too into. I know a lot of people care for it. I like the other ones that they've done. I like the animated version. I like when they kind of just paint the black on. I know, sculpting, yada, yada. I like the accessories for this. Not a big fan of the head portrait either. This was one that I was kind of like, I get where they're going with it. I like the nice homage. I'm not that excited for it, being that I have a million one carnages already. But it will be a Target exclusive go figure, probably because... He's all red. Man, these Walmarts and these Targets love their color combos, right? <laughs> so, if you're in the United States, he'll be Target exclusive. Canada, Toys R Us, and Fan Channel, yada yada. Pre-order coming soon. Just stay tuned for more info on that. Again, Spider-Man animated retro in name only, in look only, in homage only. But it's one of those where I see what you're doing there. And I kind of like it. Now, to move on to comic book stuff. Did you pick up the Valeria and Franklin Richards 2-pack? If you didn't, I'll put a link down in the description below because now they're going to complete the team with an all-blue Wolverine and Spider-Man. So that's kind of a nice thing. They're kind of wrapping up that team of Valeria, Franklin, Spidey, and Wolverine. They look good. This one is kind of, sort of, a Wolverine 50th anniversary tie-in pack, right? That kind of deal. So we will see more of those as well. And I'm telling you right now, what I would love to see, right, is a Wolverine, Punisher, and Dandy Catch three-pack. And if you know what I'm talking about there, yeah, that would make for a great Toy Biz homage as well. Please do that. But then you got to do the motorcycle too. You get the idea. Spider-Man, Wolverine, Fantastic Four, Blues, pre-order coming soon. Moving on to an Amazon exclusive. They kind of went with a Captain America theme with the MCU, right? Things have gotten all over the place, we'll just say. They had plans for more Captain America type items. 
they kind of had to repurpose, repackage. You get the idea. Amazon's getting a Baron Zemo and Arnim Zola two pack. And to be honest with you, I feel like I have these figures already. And I do. <laughs> but a lot of the figures that were kind of shown today are all now updates to things we have gotten before. So again, it's not going to be something for everyone. You may feel like you already have these. Why would you get these? Arnim Zola and Baron Zemo are those classic designs where I'll be honest with you, it's going to be kind of hard to say, yeah, no, especially since they're updated. And let's be honest, they have been doing a great job with updating. Everything is a lot more fluid. Everything goes together. It's just a nice melding of the toy line. So I will definitely give them that all day. Arnim Zola, very Jack Kirby-ish. I love the face in the chest. I'll definitely be picking up this one. I really like that, but it's definitely not a new figure and you may already have this. Baron Zemo is the original Baron Zemo. In fact, that he comes with the rotten corpse zombie head, which again, that's a nice touch. Toy Biz days, you know what I'm talking about there. It's nice to get it all in one go. So again, Amazon exclusive, Arnim Zola, Baron Zemo. Look for more info coming up soon on that. Now we have a three pack, which this is one where I kind of went, I, this is not for me either. Like I get it. It's cool. But I feel like we have seen this in many forms over the years, right? It's another shield three pack. So you get Sharon Carter, you get Nick Fury Jr. And you get Dum Dum Dugan. I like Dum Dum Dugan. I really wish that they would make an old school Nick Fury, right? Like Nick Fury and his Howling Commandos and then make the Howling Commandos too. That's something on my wish list. Maybe a nice Amazon box set. Just saying. I think that, that would be rad. They did say that this three pack will be loaded with accessories and maybe a couple surprises as well. So just stay tuned for that. But again, the pre-order for this three pack box set will be coming up at a later date. Now, we're going to talk a full wave here. This wave will hit for pre-order Thursday, the 22nd of February. So again, depending on when you see this vid... You just get your, your pre-order uh, monies already, right? <laughs> Seven-figure wave. Six had Build-A-Figures. The first one, the superior Iron Man, Tony Stark, is the one that does not have a Build-A-Figure piece. And for me, I'm kind of stoked on that. I was like, thanks for doing that, because this one is not a figure that I'm all too into. It's an all-white Iron Man. It really doesn't look the greatest. I mean, I'll give him the head portrait, if anything, Kind of reminds me of, remember the Doctor Strange movie when that came out and they had that old white one, I called it like the soap version of Doctor Strange. This is really kind of what it reminds you. Doesn't really do much for me. It comes with blast effects, tired, tired old blast effects and the hands might be cool for some of you out there. But for me, again, like I said, I'm glad that he does not have the build a figure. However, for fellow X-Men fans out there, Excalibur, New Mutants, X Factor, we're getting Wolf Spain. Thank you. <laughs> it's been a while. So we're going to complete some teams here, right? If you've been collecting Marvel Legends thus far and all these 50 plus years at least, yeah, you can finally put together a team. Wolf Spain looks good. There's not a whole heck of a lot to her, but she's in her X Factor garb, and I totally dig that. If you have the head portrait that came with the Walgreens exclusive Danny Moonstar figure, you'll have an alternate head portrait for Wolf Spain, right? They could have thrown that in there. <laughs> and if you notice, yes, you get the big old chunk of a build a figure, which, I mean, that fills out the box, I guess. I'm not going to complain on this one. I'm looking forward to getting Wolf Spain. Next one is the Red Widow. This is one I'm going to have to do my homework on, right? I understand Black Widow, Red Widow. You get the idea. One of the newer type characters. Winter Guard, as I understand it. She does look good. Looks cool. They did tease her. She won the fan contest. I mean, the one, the fan contest that they already know are coming and they just picked the character, that kind of contest. But <laughs> she has... Extra hands, she's got a weapon going, and then she has one of the legs for the Build-A-Figure. Again, not one that really does much for me, but I am interested in the Build-A-Figure, so I'll definitely be picking her up. Marvel vs. Capcom fans, you know what I'm talking about here. If you're interested, I have been looking at the Jada Toy Street Fighter line, but I've been combining them with Marvel Legends because I think that makes it more interesting to check it out instead of just like, oh, 
here's the figure and here's how the leg moves. And plus I get to have a little fun and enjoyment doing this, but Cable here looks awesome. Stoked on him. We've gotten a lot of different Cable looks. This is not my ideal Cable look. I already have him, but this one's sweet, especially for, again, a Marvel versus Capcom video game style sort of Cable. Totally stoked. The weapons, nothing new. We've seen that. He's got extra hands. The colors are great. He's got the yellows, the blues. He's got the cybernetic arm. He's got one of the legs for the Build-A-Figure piece. I'm excited for Cable. That looks pretty darn cool. And I like his little energy eye, right? That's a nice standout. Now, Icarus. That looks like a cool action figure. In fact, how cool would the Eternals have been if they had costumes more in the style of this? Like, really gone that full-blown cosmic comic look, right? That's cool. I love the way that this figure looks, hands down. He's one of the best looking of the wave, to be quite honest with you. The blues, the reds, that is just very much that Jack Kirby art style. I totally dig that. Very excited for Icarus, oddly enough. Never excited again, ever, to watch the Eternals. <laughs> man, oh man, that, that, was, that was something else. Comes with extra hands, comes with the Build-A-Figure leg, Let's hope they do more of the Eternals and, and stick with the comic book ones this time around, right? If you ever wondered why we haven't seen Marvel Legends at, at retail recently, it's the Eternals. They had something to do with it. Moving on. Now, we have the Black Winter guy. <laughs> He's from the Thor universe, if you couldn't tell. Uh, again, much like the Red Widow, I kind of looked at it, I was like, hmm, gonna have to do my homework on this one. I did hear Dan Yun say that he fought Galactus at one point, so if you have the Galactus figure, it might be a good setup on your shelf if you want. He's a cool-looking figure. I like the hair every which way. He's got his own version of a haunted Mjolnir or whatever the heck that is. Everything looks pretty stellar. I would think that it does have some reuse with one of the Thor figures. It also comes with the Build-A-Figure headpiece, but, you know, that's pretty darn cool. I'll give it to him all day. So I'm looking forward to the Black Winter. Hey, there you go. You're all packaged up, ready to go. And then the last figure, we're getting a little bit of a retread from an old San Diego Comic-Con pack. Kazar makes his return and that, again, for me, I don't have that pack, so I'm glad that they're reissuing him. And he's all brand new, and it looks pretty good. He's a, a, a He-Man, naked dude in a loincloth with some extra hands and a knife, right? And a big spear stick. That's Kazar. There you go. Savage Land, baby, right there. You got Sauron from the previous X-Men Build-A-Figure Wave from years back now. God, look back and go, look at all those figures. That was... Well, no, that was that was a while ago. Dang, that was not recent. Kazar, looking pretty good. Hopefully, to correspond with 3-Pack, we will eventually see Shanna the She-Devil, Shayna the She-Devil, I think that's what it is. That would be kind of cool. Although, with Marvel Legends, you know, the chick's barely wearing nothing, so I don't know how that'll fit. Just do it. <laughs> but to go along with our Kazar, at least... Yes, in case you didn't guess it, the Build-A-Figure will be Zabu. A brand new Zabu, right? So again, with the three-pack, they're reissuing things. A lot more beefed up, a lot more pinless. I'm all about it because I don't got it. And that looks like a great-looking saber-toothed tiger to, to hunt the Savage Land things with, right? Like I said, take down Sauron and mutants and Wolverine and Spy, whatever else. You get the idea. That looks awesome. Six figures to build Zabu. There's a lot of great stuff, right? A lot of something for everyone, if you're a Marvel fan at least. It's been a while since we've kind of said that. But in terms of this wave, to look back at old Toy Biz days of Marvel Legends, and then when they moved on with Hasbro, I really feel like this is a wave that, one, will definitely not be for everyone, but has a little bit of something for everyone, like a hodgepodge wave. And that to me is very much Marvel Legends. It doesn't always have to be Spider-Man. It doesn't have to be X-Men. It can just be the larger Marvel universe. And I think that this wave totally represents that. And it's actually pretty good. Just to point out, it's already revealed, but the pre-order will be coming soon for the Walmart exclusive Captain America. 
uh, evil empire, secret empire, whatever it is. That'll be part, again, of the Walmart Collector Con, so stay tuned for that. The Target-exclusive Sam Wilson Captain America, that will be going up in and around, we'll say, Wednesday February 28th. Stay tuned for more info on that, but that's kind of the general idea, uh, a date that they gave for that exclusive. Comes with the wings if you already have the previous figure. That's one of the only differences. If you're in Canada, though, it will be a Toys R Us exclusive. And just one last tease to discuss before we move on with our lives, whatever and whoever this belongs to. Some people said Scar, right? Son of Hulk. Another person pointed out Grim Hunter, which I would love to see a Grim Hunter. Please, please make that. That would be amazing. Also, a carry on. Can we get carry on, please, to complete Maxim Carnage? <laughs> That's the one I'm really looking forward to. But I digress. So, that will wrap it up for my not-so-quick look at the brand-new Hasbro Marvel Legends reveals. Like I said, if you're interested in any of these, when applicable, I will have the links down in the description below. Yes, even if I post this video today, I will go back when the links go up and reinstall the links. That's a little touch that I offer. <laughs> You've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Marvel Legends. It is refreshing to say that again. We look at a lot of DC Multiverse. We look at a lot, a lot of stuff. We'll just say that. But it's nice to kind of be back in the Marvel playground for a little bit, at least, right? Especially on the animated side. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, let me know down in the comments below. What was your first favorite reveal, right? Only one. Just pick one. I don't need like a list where you go, oh, well, I liked this one. And well, if I had to pick, a, I don't want any of that. Just give me one. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.